Hello guys, this is Chateaujon and I'm going to show you the debug tool and the screenshot tool in Castle Story. So the debug tool is enabled by clicking on the settings button at the top right and then clicking on toggle debug display. As soon as you click that, you'll get a new button over here that says debug. Now be careful, if you toggle on the debug tool, achievements will be completely disabled for that save. So in the game that you're playing, you will not be able to earn achievements. Now the debug tool has, well, different tools actually. The first one is instant build mode, and then time x2, pause daytime, current time, spawn bertrands, and spawn corruptrons. Uh, the most interesting one that you're probably going to be using a lot is the instant build mode, spawn bertrands, and actually spawn corruptrons too. Actually, they're all pretty useful. <laughs> uh, what the instant build mode does is that it lets you instantly place down structures or bricks. So right now, if I hit B to access my bricks and I place down a brick blueprint, it'll do just that. It'll place down a brick blueprint. But if I toggle on instant build mode, it'll say debug mode here at the top right when I toggle it on. So if it's toggled on, when I, when I try to place down a blueprint, it'll actually place the finished product instead. That works for structures and for bricks and for wood as well. So yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> time two will uh, speed the time up by two. So if I select, whoops, sorry about that. If I select these Bricktrons here and I send them over there, this is the speed that they walk in. But if I time two, they'll move faster. Uh, pretty much the whole game gets faster. The building, the harvesting, everything becomes faster. I'm just using movement to, to show you right now because I don't have any tasks set up. And if you click it again, it goes back to the normal speed. Pause daytime will pause the daytime. It'll stop the sun from uh, orbiting the islands. Is the sun here? Yep, the sun is right there. It's a little difficult to see that it's moving. I like to use the trees. There we go. So as you can see, the sun is moving. And if I pause daytime, the sun stops moving. And then you have the current time here, which lets you, uh, well, change the current time, make it day or night. And finally, you have spawn Bertrands, so you can spawn any of the Bertrand units. And then you have spawn Corruptrons, so you can spawn any of the Corruptron units. Okay, now that you know how to use the debug tool, there's another little known but very useful feature in Castle Story, also in the settings menu, uh, which is the screenshot tool. Now what the screenshot tool does is that it takes a screenshot when you click it. Uh, what's really interesting about it though is that it hides most of the UI elements when it takes a screenshot. Uh, like the menus and stuff, they're not going to show up in your screenshots, so that makes it a really interesting tool to, um, to, to take some cinematographic, you know, some nice looking screenshots. For example, I'm going to select those Bertrands here as well. And as you can see, we can see their, uh, their names above their head. And I'm going to take a screenshot and it's going to take those bubbles above their heads out of the out of the picture, out of the screenshot. And uh, now to find your screenshots, it's pretty simple. I'm going to pop out of the game like so. And then I'm going to go to Steam, to my Steam library. I'm going to right click on Castle Story, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Basically, I'm just going to access my Castle Story folder. And in my Castle Story folder, there's now a folder called Screenshots. If I open that, I'll find my screenshots in there. And as you can see, they don't have any of the UI and uh, they look pretty good. See over here, the Bertrands, they don't have the bubbles above their head. So it's a really useful uh, tool when you want to take some nice looking screenshots, some uh, cinematic looking screenshots.